Welcome to Tripod 101 for Dummies, the beginner's guide to tripods. Hi, this is Rina, and if you want more tips on building a successful photography business, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you have a new video whenever we step. So now listen up because I got more techniques on how to succeed as a freelance photographer. So, when do you use a tripod? A tripod is more advantageous when you have non-moving subject or scene such as landscapes, food photography, and architecture, as well as product photography. Those types of things make a tripod really useful. So when does a tripod become necessary? You don't really need a tripod with fast-moving scenes like animals, people, or cars moving. So what are the benefits of a tripod? The benefits of having a tripod is you do not have to rely on the shutter speed freezing a fast-moving subject. You can use shutter speed when you want to. We could also have a shutter speed as low as 10 seconds, but we can still end up with a really sharp shot because we have things stabilized on a fixed tripod. So, if you're wanting to buy a tripod, what do you want to look for? Here are some tips on what to look for in buying tripods. If you're interested in taking photos in outdoor shots, like landscapes or architecture, I highly recommend picking up a very strong and sturdy tripod, such as a carbon fiber heavy duty tripod, really tall, really thick, What's great about a tripod like that is it can stand up really well to heavy winds and heavy winds can cause those blurriness on your photo because it can actually move your camera over even so slightly. So this cause camera shakes, believe it or not. So in order to combat that, you need a really strong sturdy tripod when shooting outdoors. So how about if you shoot indoors? let's say, a food interior shots. In photography, you can use a much lighter, smaller, portable tripod and not have to worry about those outside elements. So, when buying tripods, they usually come in two forms and you will find one where it is only the tripod legs and you need to buy the quick release plates, which goes above it separately. Or you can also find packages including both the legs and quick release plates all together. What I highly recommend is that it's better to purchase them separately. Yes, only the tripod legs and then separately you need to buy the quick release plates, not on a package basis. The reason for this is that we need to ensure to capture quality quick release plates we want to buy that separately because we want to first make sure that it's a good quality, that it got the features that we need separate from the actual legs themselves. So, how about where you should really put your money in? Where should you really invest in when it comes to buying tripods? Where should you spend money is the device of quick release place that you attach to your tripod. So, using something called a ball head, this is very worth it. It allows the camera to float around freely in any angle or position, and that is really truly really advantageous when trying to compose your photo. You are not limited to any restrictive motion, so you can really move it in any direction. Not to mention that it's also great is that they have a panning function in which you could release a knob and rotate the camera left or right. Work on those and you're likely to be on your way to make money with photos as a freelance photographer. Wait, I happen to have a free guide that helps you land more photography jobs. This is 100% free, easy steps on how to make money with photos. Work for me when all else fails. So go to makemoneywithphotos.jr8.com Leave your email and 
them your first name. I'll click the link in the video description below. How to make money with photos. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you, have a nice day, and see you on the next shot.